Hey you guys, welcome to another series of Python exercises. These are basically my projects, my homework that I have to do. I'm sweating profusely. It's extremely hot here in my beautiful town of Cluj-Napoca. And uh, that's it. I just ate some incredible like fresh bread with salmon and tomatoes. God damn it, that was extremely beautiful. And now we are coding a bit. Cool! I have to say, from the last series of coding, I uh, implemented another new thing, which is a note place. Like, this is my pseudocode, so it's like, the code that is not officially uh, written in Python. That's just, here is my pseudocode, it's just my code, writing the code without worrying of syntax errors and stuff like that. Okay, that, that's done. Great, now for this series I have, I think, five exercises. Yes, and a bonus one. I wanted to show you this bonus exercise because I, uh, I heard that it's a very common interview question, so it might help. Great. Let's do it. So, we have to write a program that switches inputs. So, the input A and input B, it has to print the input A to be B, and b to be a, as you see here, a equals 3, 4, b, and the output is 4 and 3. This is a classic um, thinking trick, should I say. I actually recognized this pattern of this exercise when I read the book and I resolved a, one exercise there. Maybe you recognize that exercise by the name of Sheep, Wolf and Cabbage. Actually, there is a book that I want to recommend to you guys. It's like, is this. Think like a programmer, an introduction to creating problem solving by Anton Sproul. At the page 23, you have this game. Uh, this guy calls the game the fox, the goose, and the corn. The, the, the thing with this one is, so I will just tell you the rules. If you want to resolve the program, I, I will tell you now the rules. Pause the video, resolve it, and then check the answer because I will, I will show the answer. So a farmer with a fox, a goose, and a sack of corn needs to cross a river. The farmer has a rowboat, but there is room for only the farmer and one of his three items. Unfortunately, both the fox and the goose are hungry. The fox cannot be left alone with the goose, or the fox will eat the goose. Likewise, the goose cannot be left alone with a sack of corn, or the goose will eat the corn. How does the farmer get everything across the river? Okay, now pause the video if you want to resolve the problem, because I will tell you now. Alright. Let's create a chart. Let me see if I right click. No, it doesn't work like that. Wait. Oh, wow. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, man. Okay. 
So. Input for A and B. Create new variable C. Assign a value of A to C. B to A. Wait. C will be A. A will be B and uh, B will equal C. I I don't know. I have to check it when I when I write the code. Okay. Uh, print results and we have arrived to the end. End. In pseudo code will look like this. So if we ask the inputs, B will be space. And in here, let's copy this, paste, and change this guy. Okay, and we have to print A plus a and here we have b plus b all right so the value will be wait string with yeah it's all right it's good so we have to actually to resolve this problem and the problem with the goose, the wolf, and the corn, or the wolf, the sheep, and the cabbage, is to create a new variable for C, will assign the value in A. For B, will assign the value of C, and uh, in A, will assign the value of C. Wait a second. So B will be. No, A will be B. And B will be C. That's it. This is the. Let's write the program real fast. Real fast. Actually, I'll copy paste it. And I think I can actually run it. Okay, let's say I want to be crazy. Ah, no, wait. I have to make a... Wait a sec. A sec. It's a string. So I can place point as well, right? Let's be crazy, guys. You can place whatever you want in here. See? That easy. And let's check the type. It's a string for sure. Okay, type of... Let's check A. Let me see, can I place it like this? Okay, all right, and this one is just 11. It takes one or three arguments. string yeah okay so that's it we have it that was the bonus exercise